Hey everybody, Our Retentive here. Here to do a video today, probably in multi-parts. Uh, and <clears throat> I have hinted at this uh, in several videos, but I will be discussing today my Neil Diamond collection. <laughs> so, those of you not into Neil Diamond in any way, uh, feel free to skip this one. Um, but we're going to call this... Uh, Neil Diamond Collection Part 1. So, briefly, some history. Um, you know, I uh, grew up in a house um, where my parents listened to largely uh, Barbara Streisand and Neil Diamond. Uh, of course, I never really was a big Barbara Streisand fan, but uh, Neil Diamond kind of got under my skin. So, um, this was one of the, you know, I. I had some of my father's Neil Diamond albums when he passed, and uh, wouldn't say that it was my focus, but I never, you know, really wanted to get rid of them. There was really, I mean, I like the music, but there's also a contingent of nostalgia to it, you know, I have to admit. Um, but uh, I listened to, basically we had Neil Diamond collection from, you know, um, after Bang Records stuff. Um, and my f folks continued to get this stuff, you know, into, way into, you know, the late 70s. Uh, I wasn't doing that stuff. So for me, uh, my Zill Diamond collection, you know, goes from the beginning to, um, Love at the Greek. That's where I end. Um, you know, Coming to America, a couple good songs, but largely it started kind of drifting for me, um. But in terms of pre-1977, I believe it is, um, I like it all. So, <laughs> so yeah, there is a bit of nostalgia to it, but um, I do actually like the music. Uh, I actually went um, backwards in time and got picked up albums that I hadn't had before. Uh, the one that we had... Where is it? So, Neil Diamond Double Gold is the album that really uh, opened me up to his older stuff. Uh, the picture of him in a stoop with some kids. Uh, this album is fantastic. And I, actually, what I, you know, I'm like, wow, this, every album is this good. And, you know, I have to go back in time and get it. Well, this is a compilation. So, it's all the good stuff from the early uh, Bang Records years. Um, so excellent stuff. But anyway, welcome back to that. What really, and this is also a tie-in with this um, Neil Diamond topic, is that it's kind of what, uh, you know, prior to getting Neil Diamond, I mean, back when I was a kid, a teenager, whenever I bought albums, but, you know, what I was listening to, that sounded cool, I went out and got it. You know, I didn't know about limited editions or reissues or whatever. I mean, I had no consciousness of that stuff even happening. So, um, when I started collecting records again, which was probably about four years ago, maybe five, um, you know, it was totally nostalgia. I wasn't buying new stuff. I was buying, you know, stuff out of the uh, Half Price Books dollar bin, you know, because that's there's a lot of the stuff that I listened to. So I was like, oh, I'll check this out. And of course, they had Neil Diamond. Now I had, you know, uh, in later years I'd sold off all the records that I owned, you know, replace everything with CDs, you know, and I, of course I never did, but, um, one of the albums that I purchased of Neil Diamond's, um, uh, really turned me on to versions, you know, uh, and it was this one. Neil Diamond Gold. So this is a single live album. Uh, that ha is, well, it's great, actually. Um, every song is fantastic. So so I saw this in the dollar bin. That's the, the Half Price Books $1 sticker. So I found this in the dollar bin and I bought it and listened to it again and it brought it back fantastic memories. This is, my dad had this album. I mean, I listened to it, you know, 
many, many times. Um, but uh, I was staying with him at um, a friend's house, and he had this album there. And so I listened to this like every night when I went to bed for a week, and uh, it was really, it was, it was great. It was, even at that point, it was nostalgia, but it was a long time ago. So, anyway, so I picked this one up. And then in a subsequent uh, record buying trip, I bought it again by accident. <laughs> uh, also a dollar. But then, as I was, you know, putting, putting it away in my tiny little collection at that point, uh, I realized, wait a minute, these are different. I mean, this one's got a yellow border around it, and this one doesn't. I'm like, you know, they're the exact same on the back, but I'm like, what's the deal? So, um, the this one was released on MCA Records, and this one was released on Uni, which is a division of MCA. So... Uh, so in the back of, of this one on MCA Records, you can read up here uh, that this was released, oh, no, I can't read it. All selections previously released on Uni Album, old number 93084, entitled Gold. So, uh, what's interesting to me right now as I'm looking at this, that's not the number of this album. <laughs> this one is 730. Oh. No, this one is 73084. Well, there you go. There's probably yet still another version of this. So, anyway. So, this is when I was like, okay, I need to find information on this. And, that, you know, that led me to Discogs. And then I realized that there were several older Neil Diamond albums that I'd never even heard of. But, you know, in the list of Neil Diamond on Discogs. So, I started looking for him, and, uh, you know, I had seen, of course, during the dollar bin digging during that time, I, you know, I couldn't flip two records and not find a Neil Diamond album, but after I had purchased a ton of them, and then discovered, hey, there's some that are, are different versions, now I need to go back and pick, see if I can find those and pick them up, of course, they're all gone, so... <laughs> Uh, I continue to find certain ones, though. But that was the start of, um, you know, discovering that uh, there were more versions out there to be had for those that were, you know, in, that interested. So, um, so I went back in time. So, this, you know, this is not necessarily in super chronological order. Uh, probably show them out of order, but... Um, I will start with uh, the old, the bang years. So this was uh, um, early. So I did pick up, so this is the, the feel of Neil Diamond, um, which I believe is his first one. Probably could have researched that, sorry. But uh, this is a um, stereo copy. And the mono copy. So, uh, um, a lot of <laughs> almost like a little play on the back here. I don't know. Interesting. Anybody recognize this thing? <laughs> uh, that is the old uh, eraser wheel with a little brush on the end. Kind of, uh, kind of dates that one. Uh, and then I have two copies of this one for some reason, because uh, I think it's just because the sticker is different. So this one's got a purple circle. Oh, sorry, my finger. Purple hype sticker for Shiloh, and this one has this other picture, or other hype sticker for Shiloh. These are both on Bang Records. I think they're the same exact number. Yeah, BLP 217. So I must have come across 
and come across these and you know again two different versions although they're really the same record so uh, you got your bang years uh, Neil Diamond's greatest hits I'm gonna have to throw a picture of my father I think in this um, because you know not uh, exactly but uh, my father visually reminds me of the old diamond there's a, a picture that I found actually that I put on my blog um, of a picture of Neil Diamond on his album uh, Dreams which is you know like in the 90s or 2000s whatever um, way beyond the capacity of me to listen to it <laughs> but it's actually not a bad album um, but the picture on the cover um, is Neil Diamond kind of like slouched back in a chair and he's got a guitar next to him and when I saw it for the first time I was like oh my god that's like exactly the picture of my dad that I took when he was visiting one time and I had to go find the picture so I'll probably I'll try to put those in here <laughs> if the editing works out uh, but yeah they, you know similar pose and to me similar look so it's just kind of freaked me out anyway so then I got to pick a copy of Shiloh. So this is a, you can get this album several different ways. Uh, but of course the, the way you want it is without someone to have, this is a dot to dot picture. It's all the numbers or whatever, and you follow the dot and it, of course it draws a picture of Neil Diamond, you know, on the cover of his guitar. So, but this is a, uh, on the inked copy. So this is, nobody did the picture, you know, did the picture, so. That's a good album. And Neil Diamond Do It. Which shows other available albums. Shiloh, the Greatest Hits, and Just For You. Did I even say the name of that other one I showed? I don't know if I did. The other one was Just For You. Uh, it was Neil and a Dog. I don't know what that picture's about. And then, like I showed, <clears throat> uh, you got Neil Diamond Double Gold. So, this one has got, man, it's Girl, You'll Be a Woman Soon, which, you know, was redone uh, by somebody for Pulp Fiction soundtrack. Just everything on here. Every single song. <laughs> even the slow ones. Even as a kid, I was like, wow, that was really good. Of course, you know, we were listening to you know, uh, Neil Diamond albums like Serenade and Beautiful Noise and uh, the Jonathan Livingston Seagull soundtrack. So hearing like, I mean, this is not like rock, hard rock, but it is rock. It's rocking Neil Diamond. So check this one out if you can find it. I got this for a buck. I mean, like, yeah, half price books a dollar. Double album for a dollar, so can't beat it. So, rather than uh, going into the rest of the catalog, uh, I think that was it for the Bang Years. Uh, and then he went to MCA uh, and Uni. Um, I'm gonna show some some things that are not necessarily vinyl, sort of vinyl, but hang on. So, um, being um, also an owner of a reel-to-reel, -reel, oh, there you are, my baby, my precious. Um, I had to investigate Neil Diamond reel-to-reel -reel tapes, um, and the list on Discogs is very limited. Um, but as I searched, um, I did find that there were some. So. I picked them up. So, not vinyl, but interesting at any rate. So this is uh, Neil Diamond Gold uh, on reel to reel. <laughs> the reels are so huge and you can see that there's like barely any tape in there. Uh, but that's, you know, that's how they did it. So this one is steel, uh, steel. It's still got the uh, 
plastic on it, or the, the leader tape on it, so it's like minty fresh. Um, so then I found Shiloh on Real to Real. Uh, Neil Diamond just just for you, which has a completely different. It's not a hype sticker, but it's actually printed on here. But it says, including the current hit, "Thank the Lord for the Nighttime." So another different one, uh, and then some older stuff. This beautiful noise. Uh, yeah, look at the tape on this one. Seriously. It's not even like a quarter of the way, it's probably a quarter full on this reel. But that, I mean, that's how, that's how they did it. Neil Diamond Taproot Manuscript. Neil Diamond Serenade. This is probably one of my favorites. This is the one that reminds me of my dad the most, I think. Um, arguably, uh, it might be this one, though. Uh, uh, Jonathan Livingston Seagull, which apparently he didn't really want to do, or started doing it and then had reservations <laughs> and tried to get out of it, but he couldn't. And so he completed it, and it turned out to be uh, a really, really fantastic album. Uh, the movie bombed horribly, but uh, nonetheless, his music for it was, was good. And uh, ended up somehow with two copies of this. So, so, so a real real collection. Then, uh, oh, sorry. I also picked up another oddity, which is actually, well, it's not vinyl, but it's record related. Um, picked up this. This is, more light on this. This is uh, Girl You'll Be a Woman Soon and Cherry Cherry on Hip Pocket Records. Now, I, when I saw this, um, I was like, what What the heck is that? Oh, spoiler alert, it fell out. So this is a tiny record. Uh, it's a flexi disc. Ugh. Which I'm going to ruin. Okay. Uh, so this, <laughs> so this, and I got uh, also have you got to me and solitary man on the same uh, the same media. Wow, that was a, couldn't go up with that one. These are sixty nine cents, brand new. So these are. Um, uh, made by the uh, Philco company. So they actually had a record player designed to be in your car, or it was a portable record player. And so they had these flexi disc records that you would play on there. Now I tried to play this on my regular record player and the spindle hole is uh, too small. So it won't fit on the spindle. And I decided that I probably better just leave as is. Um, they look like they're in fantastic shape. So, but yeah, I had never seen anything like this before. I mean, I've seen flexi discs, flexi discs, but nothing like this. So, I, you know, you go out on eBay, you can find this for, you know, three, four bucks. Um, you know, Neil Diamond is not, you know, awesome to me. <laughs> Probably not the majority of the record buying public is, you know, drooling for Neil Diamond records. I fully, you know, comprehend that. Um, so, if you can get a hold of one of these, uh, Hip Pocket Records, I mean, there's like a Bob Dylan one. Um, there's like one from The Doors. I mean, they're, some of them can get pretty pricey uh, for these little tiny flexi disc records. So, um I would call those Neil Diamond oddities. Um, yeah, so Hip Pocket Records. So here, yeah, down here. Philco. 
um, yeah, so, Philco Ford Corporation, so, yeah, so, I mean, I have other flexi discs, uh, and whatnot, but, uh, you know, these are Neil Diamond related, so I thought I'd show these today. So that's going to be it for part one. Uh, that was the oddities in Bang Record Years. Um, so we'll come back. We'll come back and do another one that has some of the later albums. Um, and a couple more oddities that I found. So um, thanks for what, sticking through through it. You Neil Diamond fans out there, uh, let me know what you think. Um, I did a search on YouTube for Neil Diamond and uh, I found Curtis Lindner uh, did an episode on Neil Diamond. That was cool. Um, but really, I haven't seen a whole lot of, <laughs> perhaps not surprising, uh, Neil Diamond collections being shown. Uh, so, anyway, thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned for part two.